All you need is a little juju. All you need is a little juju. Hey y'all, we are back with another collaboration video with me, Juju Bay, and Real Talk Session Series, here to bring you some more information about hoodoo. So today we're gonna focus on kitchen witching. And what do I mean by kitchen witching? It means using the ingredients and the herbs and the plant medicine that you already have, most likely in your kitchen, to be able to do your workings or your spell work, to be able to manifest or repel, etc. So if you've been wondering how you can get better at your hoodoo practice, I say start in the kitchen, start in the cabinet. Kitchen witching is important because our ancestors often didn't have a lot of resources or materials to be able to use to do their workings or their spell work, but they did have access to plants, they had access to kitchens because many of them were cooking, etc. So they could use and do their works in the kitchen because that's where all of the ingredients were. So I say if you're early on in your hoodoo journey and you're trying to figure out what herbs you need, what kind of workings you can do with the herbs that you have, we can start off right in the kitchen and I can show you a few of those ingredients to help you with your workings. So the first ingredient that I wanna talk about today that I'm sure you have in your home is salt. So salt is a great purifier, it's a great detox, and it's also used for cleansing and protection. For example, I'm sure you may have heard of Epsom salt baths that people take when their body is in pain or to detox. And so you can think of salt and hoodoo as a form of a detoxing too from things that you don't want. For example, people in your home or negative energies. So some people may put uh, white table salt like this or black salt around the perimeter of their homes to keep away any negative spirits, entities, people, etc. Another hoodoo tip is if someone comes over your home that you don't want to be there or you don't want to ever come back as they're walking out, just put a little salt behind them, you know, as they're walking out. Don't let them see you, but that is supposed to keep away that person so that they never come to your home. I will also add, just don't invite them anymore. Next, we have pepper. I'm sure you... Stop. <laughs> pepper, which I'm also sure that you have in your home, I think. So pepper is a great ingredient to use to heat up your prayers. What do I mean by that? You know, pepper has a little bit of a spice to it. It's not super spicy, but it has a kick to it. And so you can put pepper in your mouth as you are praying, as you are saying affirmations or whatever it is that you're saying vocally from your mouth. And it helps heat it up. It kind of helps it move within the spiritual realm. So pepper is great for that. Pepper is also used to keep people away and banish. Some people use pepper in hexes or even to cause harm to people. Um, pe pepper is a common ingredient that kind of amplifies those kinds of workings as well. So red pepper, similarly to black pepper, helps heat up your prayers and your workings and your affirmations and spells, what have you. We know that red pepper is a little bit more spicy, so it adds spice to whatever it is that you're trying to achieve or do. So for example, if you're trying to get some money and you're trying to have it move a little quick, you wanna make sure that the spirits hear you, uh, red pepper could be good to put on your tongue before that working to bring some heat to it. So yeah, red pepper is good to make things move a little bit quicker for you and to also just kind of add that extra kick or punch, which is how we use pepper in our foods anyway. So that's the same premise when it comes to hoodoo. Think about why you use red pepper or what you use these ingredients for and then how it could translate into a working for yourself. Red pepper is also used for protection. Now, one of my favorite ingredients to use is cinnamon because it works for so many different things. Cinnamon is great for good luck. It is great for quick money. It is a good ingredient for love workings and bringing positive love and affirming love into your life, whether that be romantic, family, or friends. It's a wealth ingredient. People also use cinnamon for protection as well. I think it's an all around just, you can't go wrong usually putting cinnamon in your workings because it has so many different properties. So I would say 
like with any of these herbs or ingredients that you have before you use them set the intention of why you're using them tell it tell the cinnamon okay i'm doing this for quick money so that's why i'm using the cinnamon and move forward and and use the ingredients with that but cinnamon is you can, you cannot go wrong with cinnamon Next thing we could use is garlic powder or cloves of garlic, whatever you may have that has garlic in it in your kitchen. Now garlic is used to keep away troublesome spirits, troublesome people, negative entities, negative energy. Um, and it can also be used to keep away the law or police if you have some trouble with that. Garlic is, is wonderful to keep away the things that we don't want around us. You may have seen old Hollywood movies where people are wearing, you know, necklaces with garlic clothes to ward off evil spirits or ward off vampires. It's the same thing to ward off people that you don't want around you. So garlic is, is really, really great to incorporate in any workings where you're wanting to keep yourself safe and keep certain people and energies away from you. And the last ingredient I want to cover today is Italian seasoning. So Italian seasoning is a bit of a hack because it has a whole bunch of different herbs with different properties that you could use. So there's all these wonderful good things in just, okay. The good thing about Italian seasoning is that it has a whole bunch of different herbs in it. So you get access to all these different ingredients and all these different properties just by buying one container of seasoning. So Italian seasonings have different ingredients depending on which brand that you buy. But I want to talk about marjoram, basil, rosemary, thyme, and oregano. So for marjoram, marjoram is a great ingredient for healing ourselves from grief, especially to wash away any sadnesses that we may have if we've been through something that was difficult or traumatic. Marjoram helps kind of wash that energy away and opens us up to be to receive blessings and goodness in our lives. So in this, we also have basil. Basil is also just another great all around herb that you can do so much with it is an amazing cleanser so cleansing of the spirit it is great for purifying your energy keeping away entities and energies that you do not want it is highly protective especially if you have fresh basil and putting it in your baths but that's a side note basil is an all-around great 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 herb to use if you just want to cleanse strip away all the mess and again, open yourself up to some, some good vibes. We also have rosemary, which is another one of my favorites. Rosemary has a softer energy to it. It's very feminine energy. It's good for dominating in the home, specifically for women. If you're wanting to make sure that your word is getting across, that what you need to get done in the home is getting done, rosemary can be your friend and should be your friend. People put rosemary in four corners of their house to make sure that they are the ones that kind of are holding the energy and what they're saying is going in the house and everything is kind of moving in alignment to uh, feminine energy. Rosemary can also be used to strengthen relationships with lovers and friends. Thyme also is typically in Italian seasonings. Thyme is great for healing, healing our spirits, healing our minds, healing our bodies and our energies. Oregano, as I said similarly earlier with garlic it's really really good for law workings court case workings being successful in that but also keeping away police keeping away the law or maybe any state official that you do not want to bother you so that's why you know italian seasoning is so good because it just kind of depends on what you're wanting to do and create and potentially based on some of the properties of these herbs and ingredients, you may be able to do one working and just shake some Italian seasoning on there and be able to, to knock out a few things at one time based on your intention. So Italian seasoning is a great hoodoo hack. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you all learned something today. I hope that you all can go through your cabinets and see what you have in there and feel free to research what else that you may have and how you can use it in your spell work, how you can use it in your working so that you can have the things that you need. Do not feel like you always have to buy all the expensive ingredients because you already have some hoodoo in your cabinet. So don't forget to follow me, Juju Bay at 
It's Juju Bay on Instagram and Twitter. And you can also follow my podcast page, A Little Juju Podcast on Instagram. And you need to follow Real Talk Session Series on Instagram and check out the Miseducation of the People podcast and my episode, especially episode 113. So make sure you subscribe and drop your five-star reviews. All you need is a little juju. Later. Later. (laughs) Okay, bye. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) Cut.